Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jerry. Uh, today I'm going to talk about bubble sort in C++ um, class. So as you can see that um, I've created the files. One is header file, h.hpp, and one is um, .cpp, which uh, where we write our code inside. So um, okay so let's um, define our functions in the header files um yep so first we are going to declare a class um i will call it the uh, sort type And uh, so for now, we just uh, set all to public. Mm, we declare a size and uh, declare a integer array pointer. And uh, our constructor to the to the class. The deconstructor and um, for the functions that we have, uh, first we are going to have an initialize array. going to print array yeah so for the initialized array our input variable is an integer array pointer and uh, yeah so for now we are going to add the bubble sort function and uh, we are going to add a swap function um, this swap function takes in the reference of the the array items and uh, basically just swap it so uh, just write okay um, that's about it and uh, yeah so uh, let's add a testing uh, function Okay, um, so we have already defined our header file with all the function names. So um, now in the CPP file, let's just um, implement it. So, uh, yep, um, let's include our string. Let's implement the the constructor function. So this is a default constructor with no input and the size equals to zero. Okay. Uh, this dot size equals to zero and uh, this dot array equals 
this to now. Yeah, so maybe let's just add another constructor with some inputs. Mm. To decline, declare the size of the array initially and uh, so um, yeah so let's just implement it this uh, dot size equals to size and this dot array equals to now for now because we have a uh, initialized array function so for now we just put the array as now and uh, next we are going to write the deconstructor um, which is um, empty for now yeah I, I think it will be empty and uh, for the uh, initialized array uh, the way we want to implement is uh, initial a wait, wait, wait. Uh, source type initialized array and uh, so we take the array and uh, set the array to uh, ARR in the class object so this dot ARR equals to A array okay and uh, for now we are going to implement the print function to print the arrays uh, before it sort or after it sort yeah so mm, print array and uh, yep so we are just write a for loop to iterate the arrays the items inside the array so int i equals to zero and i is smaller than the size because we only want the size uh, the exact array so yeah and we just write the cout function this dot array uh, i So with this we can print our array and uh, next we are going to implement the swap function which just take two numbers and swap, swap them in their position so void Yep, and uh, in this function, we are going to create a temp variable to hold the middle transaction, and uh, temp is equals to a, and uh, a equals to b, b equals to temp, and with this, um, the position of two items inside the array is swept okay and uh, with that we are going to implement the 
uh, sorting algorithm which is the bubble sort mm, okay mm, sort type mm, bubble sort and we're going to declare the ij for the loops so for i equals to zero i is smaller than this size and i plus plus okay and uh, yep so we are going to create a boolean function has swept or not so first we are going to set it false mm, and we are going to write the inner loop j equals to zero j is, sm is smaller than this dot uh, size minus one yep because um, our array starts from zero right and uh, we are going to minus i yeah so this is basically what um, the bubble sorts do uh, later i will explain and i mean i mean i will print the re step by step to show you how uh, bubble sort work and now i'm going to write j j plus plus and uh, so if if the current position of i sorry of j is uh, bigger than uh, the position j plus one j plus one And uh, we are going to do a barber sort. Hey, sorry, barber swap. And uh, yep, for the first parameter, we are going to use the ARRJ. The second parameter is J plus one. set has swap which is a boolean variable to true because um, if this number is bigger than the one next um, we did the swap so this is true yep and uh, so this uh, print array because we want to see the step by step that the, the sorting logarithm does so uh, this is just uh, for reference purposes and uh, let's write a validation um, if not has swap break yeah so um, in case that, um, uh, how to say, um, yeah, so with, within this loop, um, in case that um, it did not run the whole loop and uh, in the middle it has finished the uh, sorting and uh, there's nothing so to sort here because there's nothing that the current position is bigger than the one next. So uh, the has swap will be false and uh, we can assume that the sort the sorting uh, process is done so we do not need to uh, continue to finish the loop so we just break it yep and for now 
we can write a testing function to test our logarithms so bubble start of sorting and uh, first we, we, we just uh, declare an array um, Uh, give the array uh, eight objects, eight items, and uh, yep. Mm. So in this case, uh, we will sort it until it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight instead of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And uh, sort type. We declare a class object which is bubble sort object. Uh, because we have set the size of the array uh, eight, so um, for the eight we are going to uh, set here so so the class will know that the size of the array is 8 and uh, we initialize our array to the class so bubble uh, sort object dot initialize array and uh, we put in the variables that we created just now and uh, in this we able to um, initialize the array so um, so let's see out start uh, see out uh, the initial a array and uh, so we are going to use the print function to print the array and for now um, so gram so for now, we are going to start sorting. So uh, let's just add some comments here. Type A. going to call the sort function uh, this one yes and uh, we are going to print the end result
we are ready to run okay before that uh, let me um, call the function Seems like this function is not really recognized. Let me find uh, the solution. And uh, yeah, I think just now I have typed wrongly, so that's why uh, the build is failed. And for now, we can see that uh, our array is sorted. Um, our initialized array is uh, from 8 to 1. And uh, our sorting logarithm is step by step piece here. And our end result is one to eight yes so mm, this is the result and uh, let me just um, explain how uh, bubble sort worked so um, as we can see um, uh, in this line it will iterate eight times so we can count one two three four five six seven eight and um, yeah and uh, so in the first loop it will loop the arrays the items eight times and uh, in the second loop uh, we are going to loop for uh, the individual items inside this array to check that uh, is this uh, actually yeah it's doing eight so um, it will start uh, at here so it will ask that is eight bigger than seven yes and we will do a swap here and so the 8 would be uh, in second position and uh, it will continue asking like is 8 uh, bigger than 5 and uh, the answer is yes and bigger than 4 bigger than 3 bigger than 2 bigger than 1 and uh, 8 will eventually swap to the uh, last position and uh, with this 
the second inner loop is done and uh, it's the has swap is set to true because definitely we swapped a lot of times so when it comes to here it did not break because uh, it's true and uh, this one will print the line here and uh, it will go to the second time and the uh, second loop again to ask that is 7 bigger than 6 to 1 and if yes it will uh, position it as in the uh, second last position yeah so um so minus one minus i is because um since we already know that uh th these items is definitely the largest and uh, it's definitely uh sorted so we actually do not need to loop that round again to to ask whether it's seven uh bigger than eight because um, we have already done in this loop that it is definitely the largest so it is at the second position yep and uh, with this we can see that uh, it will go through line by line and uh, yeah so so it will swap, swap line by line until until the last loop of this for loop which is this one um yes and um, yeah sorting this in a uh, um ascending order which means the last item is the largest and the first item is the smallest so if you want to swap into the um, in a descending order then uh, we can reverse the array and uh, yeah we can just simply change the sign to smaller than instead of bigger than so let's run it again and we can see that our initial array is 1 to 7 and uh, it will as usual uh, asking that if one is smaller than two three four five six seven eight and if yes um it will be at the last position which states that it's the smallest number and for two and uh, for three four five six seven eight and eventually we get our list sorted in descending order which is our end result here yeah okay um, I think uh, uh, that's all for this session um, th thanks for watching uh, I will continue updates on different type of sorts and other logarithms thank you